You know, I'm usually I'm the type of traveler that's always on the go, going through rough travels and checking out the uncommon places. But this time, I took a step back and gave myself a break, recover and rediscover my faith in this region. This is Calabarzon. Calabarzon is composed of five provinces near Metro Manila, which are Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Rizal, and Quezon. The region is emerging to be a wellness and faith destination that you don't need to go that far for that holistic vacation. In this video, I'll show you some sites that I have visited during my adventures around Calabarzon. The first thing that I did was to have breakfast at Ferns Cafe in San Pablo, Laguna. This restaurant serves Filipino, American, and Italian cuisine. It has a very homey vibe to it, and I swear, their breakfast has large, yummy portions. After eating breakfast, I ventured with a travel group to visit Dolores Quezon. This area attracts pilgrims and nature trippers. Here is where the National Shrine of Our Lady of Sorrows is located. It was declared as a national shrine last June 15, 2017. This is where visitors get to pray for Virgen de la Rosa. Bangkong Kahoy Valley This area sits between Mount Banahaw and Mount Cristobal. I had a very healthy and organic lunch. So what I got for lunch here at Bangkong Kahoy Valley are fern salad, miki, vegetable nuggets, tinola, and saba for dessert. So you can tell how healthy my lunch is today. Begin. So I just decided to explore around this area and I encountered some very nice garden over here. It's called the Miraflores Farm. Oh, look at the flowers. They're so nice. There's also a wild raspberry plantation. I'm gonna take a look at it. Okay, I see the raspberries. Another reason why Dolores Quezon attracts pilgrims is their flea market that sells amulets. Amulets or anting anting are mystical objects that give protection, prosperity, and luck to the owner. People who believe in the power of the amulets, they go here to charge their amulets, buy one, or have one made by one of the amulet makers in the area. After exploring Dolores Quezon, we had dinner at Suliap Cafe in Laguna. Here we had some yummy adobas kamatis, bistek tagalog, bangus, and ginataang pusit. Then we settled at Oreval Hotel in Laguna for the night before heading to the next provinces. Just a quick room tour of where I'm staying in our first night around Calabarzon. So this is Oreval Grande Hotel and Resort. I'm having a solar room for tonight, which is awesome. I'm not complaining. <laughs> and yeah, I'll be staying on this bed right here. I have a TV over here. And toilet, usual toilet here. The next day, I got a chance to visit the farm at San Benito in Batangas. The farm is an eco-luxury holistic health resort that offers a lot of programs that targets the mind, body, and spirit. Basically, it's a destination for those who are looking into healing and recharging themselves as well as enjoy the amenities that a farm can offer. From being close to nature, meditation, to hydrotherapy, to staying in their luxury accommodations. We have arrived at one of the farm's newest villas. So staying in one of these villas will cost you 75,000 a night. And that is good for four people. Oh my gosh, if only I have the money. <laughs> After visiting the farm, 
we stopped by Taal Heritage Town and checked out a couple of sites like the Minor Basilica of St. Martin de Tours. This is the largest church in Asia and the aisle is the second longest aisle in the Philippines. In Taal Town, it features old Spanish heritage houses and a little fun fact, when your house is near the church like the Minor Basilica, it means that you're one of the rich folks. Here in this town, it also features some products that people are making like Barong Tagalog and they also are making native products like sunka, bayong, and so much more. That's it for our visit in Batangas. Next up is Cavite. Here we went to several sites that promote organic farming and healthy lifestyle, such as Sanctuario Nature Farm, where they produce various organic fruits and vegetables, livestock, and supplies that you may want to grow your very own farm at home. And the Cavite State University's Agri Ecotourism Park, where I encountered a lot of interesting produce as well. Here in this farm, it also features stingless bees. They're actually a lot and they're swarming around me, but I think I'm safe. I shall move away a bit. I don't want to disturb them. And over here behind me is a farm full of dragon fruit plants. Also in this farm, you can encounter a lot of rambutan trees. Well, my sister would love to get a lot of rambutan trees. That's like her favorite fruit actually. Right behind me is a coffee tree and as you can see there are a lot of flowers here. They actually smell really good. After the flowers bloom, the farmers will now harvest the coffee seeds and just in front of me over here are the coffees being sun-dried as of the moment. So really cool plant to have. Hopefully I can have something like that in my backyard. If you're looking for an organic meal around Cavite, Sonia's Garden has a bed and breakfast that not only offers yummy healthy foods, but their garden is one of their main attractions because it's something to consider if you are looking for a romantic date that's close to nature. Another place to consider, and I would say it's one of my favorite restaurants I have tried during this trip, is the farmer's table at the Nurture Wellness Village. They specialize on healthy, delectable cuisine that will surely make vegetarians and non-vegetarians happy to get second round without the guilty feeling. In the Nurture Wellness Village, I also got the chance to try their massage. Now, if you're looking for an all-in-one staycation that has the holistic experience in the province of Cavite, I highly recommend La Bella Boutique Hotel. This is where I stayed overnight, and the rooms are not bad. I'm now here in one of La Bella's rooms. This is Generosita 2. This can fit up to 6 packs, but if you want to add additional, it can go up to 8 people. It has several bedrooms, double bed over here, a single bed over here, and downstairs it has kitchen and a dining table. It also has a jacuzzi just outside its room. I also rediscovered practicing yoga in this hotel. One of the secrets to looking young, as they say, is to take care of your mind, body, and spirit. As a holistic destination, La Bella also offers wellness treatments. I experienced their salt immersion with body massage. This is one of their treatments where I was submerged in salt for 10 minutes then I get to have their specialized massage. I continued having that wellness experience through their food, such as eating their fresh organic lettuce straight from their pot, enzyme salad, grilled salmon, and cali rice with mixed vegetables, and ube palitao with dairy-free vegan ice cream for dessert. My adventure around Cavite doesn't stop here. In the municipality of Margondon is where I got to visit local sites that focuses on Philippine history and promoting local products and services. Here, it is home to the Bonifacio Trial House. It is a historic house and museum. It was built in 1889 and served as a military court wherein it has been a witness to the trial of Andres Bonifacio in 1897. 
Just nearby the area is the Maragondon Church. This church is more than 300 years old, and it was declared as one of the national cultural treasures in the Philippines. Maragondon Cavite also takes pride in the local craftsmanship of Likhang Maragondon. They specialize on weaving and bamboo making products such as clothing, face masks that conforms to WHO standards, and bamboo furniture. Now if you're looking for a place to have lunch, you should check out the Balsa restaurant. So here is the Maragondon floating restaurant. This craft right here can travel along the Maragondon River. And in order for this boat to go to point A to point B, there's this fisherman right in front of me. He's pulling the craft right now. <laughs> wow, I've taken you guys to a lot of destinations in this video. But wait, let's not forget about the province of Rizal. One of the places I have visited around Rizal is the Antipolo Cathedral. It enshrines the Marian image of Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage. The exterior of the building is also decorated with the statues of different patron saints. Just nearby the area, you can get some souvenirs. If you happen to be around Atipolo and you would like to give gifts to your loved ones, you can drop by this Pasalubong Center. They have a lot of products such as nuts, sweets, chips, and for sure, your friends and family will love them. <laughs> This next one is one of Rizal's go-to attraction, Cloud 9. This right here is Cloud 9 in Antipolo. Here it features a view deck overlooking Metro Manila. And right behind me is a tower that has a hanging bridge. Also, it features a huge Philippine flag right on top of the tower. Oh my gosh! That's the, that's the hanging bridge over there. Oh, fair now walking. Huh? Oh my gosh! Wait lang. Okay, we're now walking along the hanging bridge. And honestly, I'm kind of scared right now. Oh my god, I don't usually get scared in heights. But damn, guys! Christian! <laughs> Christian! To us! Okay. Wait lang. Looking. Looking up, the trick is the trick is to not look down, guys. Ah. If you successfully pass through the hanging bridge, you'll be rewarded by a 360-degree view of Antipolo. In the tower, you'll notice padlocks around the area, which people believe the padlocks are placed there as a symbol of love, as if they're sealing their love forever. Welcome to our last destination of our Calabar Zone adventure. I am now here at Lulueta's Place, Hanging Garden Spa and Garden Suite. Lulueta offers health and wellness service amidst the green groves and lush greeneries. I personally experienced their signature massage and to be honest, it's my favorite massage service amongst all the massages I have tried during my whole Calabar Zone trip. They have relaxing amenities guests can also try, such as their infinity pools. This next one behind me is the infinity pool. And look at this view right behind me, it's so beautiful. Very relaxing if ever you would decide to swim here. Ah, I wish you could stay here longer. Behind me over here is Lulueta's hydro pool. And it kind of reminds me of Ice Water Spa a bit. It has those water projection that gives your body that nice massage. So the pool actually is ionized. Isn't it? it gives a lot of health benefits such as for your skin, your metabolism, and cardiovascular system. Right now, this is the 
lounge area. This lounge area is good for relaxing and if ever you also want to have a massage, they also have a very special bed for you just over here. Guys, just a disclaimer, if ever you will be exploring this site, expect a lot of stairs. <laughs> Sterathon. Sterathon. Oh. <laughs> Lord. Uh, maybe maybe this is why the employees here are really thin. So yeah. You'll definitely lose weight here guys. For sure. <sighs> During my adventures around Calabarzon, it taught me how faith plays a vital role in our everyday life. Regardless of your religious belief, faith has the power to give us the motivation to achieve our goals, to have the strength to go through extreme challenges, and to attract the things we want in our lives. I also learned that in order to achieve optimal wellness is to have a holistic lifestyle that takes care of the mind, body, and spirit. No wonder the people I have met during this trip physically look younger than their age because of the food that they intake, giving their body that needed pampering, and to release the negativity that clouds the mind and spirit. The best part? I don't need to go that far since these provinces are just near Metro Manila. It is indeed more fun in Calabarzon.